common that when you show up at church that they will take you aside and say, can you give something small? As in, share some testimony or something. But what they mean is, you are the preacher for the day. In fact, we were just at a church recently, and that is exactly what they told me. I came in, we sat down, and we're talking, and he said, oh, can you share something? And I'm like, oh, sure, sure, I can share something. And then I'm like, well, let me clarify, what does that mean to share something? He says, you are the preacher for the day. So generally when you show up, you need to be ready to share a message or share a Bible story to be able to encourage them. So our church experience here is just a little bit different than what we used to have back in the States. We are currently worshiping with a small church plant that just meets out under a tree, and that is a really cool experience, not only for us, but also for the kids. Currently on our way to worship in the camps, and it's very, very bumpy roads. I made the mistake of not drinking all my coffee before we hit the dirt road. <laughs> Oops. We have now had two opportunities to worship with our brothers and sisters in the camps and it has been amazing. One really cool experience we had was listening to the Apostles' Creed be recited in Arabic. Who would have thought that Muslim background believers would be reciting the Apostles' Creed? Yeah, it's really cool to see that we're, we're here specifically to work with Sudanese refugees, but then finding out all these different guys who are from Darfur, which is an area way north in Sudan, and it is intensely Muslim, but God is doing an incredible work in the midst of those people, bringing many of them to himself. And so right now we are even involved in uh, helping a little church plant that is in Kampala that is full of Darfurian believers. Django, our language teacher, is also Darfurian, and he went through training with us. And so we're seeing all these connections with Darfurians and seeing how God is using them now to go back and share the gospel with their people. Uh, when we were at the camp uh, just recently, I was having a conversation with several Darfurians and they were sitting there saying, we have to go back mm -hmm. and share the gospel with our family, with our friends, because they are stuck deep in Muslim faith. And this is dangerous for them. Many of them, it means that they will be killed for mm -hmm. even going back because people have heard their believers. It is the culture to serve tea when you have guests. And it is important that you accept that. And that has been challenging, especially when in the camp, because we know that they do not have a lot and yet they are sharing out of their need with us. And so we will sit down with them after church and drink tea and have conversation and learn from them and hear their stories. And it's been a, a really huge blessing.